All right. You know, I I've been yelling at the right wing a lot lately. You know, I've, I've been going against a lot of right wing people. Um, and for good reasons, you know, because uh, the stuff that I've been going against has been largely extremely bad. You know, actually just extremely bad. I mean, <laughs> I, um, I, I went against the cathedral as an idea, um, because it's, uh, it's conservatives, uh, trying to co-opt the language of anti-statism to only be against progressives. Um, I went against Parler and QAnon and, um, a variety of other things, you know? I, w I went against pit vipers and the people saying destroy your pit vipers. I went against Elon Musk and I went against bigots who call themselves libertarians when they're really just bigots. I could list more as well. But, you know, I just, I feel like I should probably also hit the left. Uh, which makes it great that we have a Biden presidency. Because now we've got, oh, we've got a rightist. That's right. I'm going to make another video talking shit about the right wing because Biden is a right wing president and Kamala is a right wing VP. Uh, so let's let's go over it. Uh, the latest in the uh, massive shit pile that is that administration is, uh, quote, from Kamala Harris, I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the U.S.-Mexico border. Do not come. And then she repeats it. Do not come. Maybe she just wants people to be celibate. Who are you to judge? The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure our border. There are legal methods by which migration can and should occur. But we, as one of our priorities, will discourage illegal immigration. And I believe if you come to our border, you will be turned back. Um, and then Harris's office apparently said, The president and vice president have been clear in dissuading people from making the dangerous and treacherous journey to the U.S.-Mexico border. We encourage those who do want to come to the U.S. to do so legally and seek legal immigration options in their home countries. Hey guys, remember when the entire liberal press, and I do mean liberal and not leftist, press went against Trump because he said you have to go back and responded uh, to criticisms of his ideas with the idea that, you know, uh, you should immigrate legally. Yeah. I mean, it is fucking shit, you know, from an anarchist perspective, but from a status perspective, what? <sighs> it's just exhausting that the obvious solution here, which is to call these people right wing, isn't being taken. But, you know, I feel, I feel the criticism coming. I feel the criticism coming. Because there's a shit ton of people out there who are of the false belief that Biden and Harris are left wing. Well, first off, I would like a citation. Because I don't have any fucking proof of that, and neither do you. They're basically center-right. And sometimes very far right. Biden working with segregationists. Biden dropping hard R's. Biden helping uh, Republicans be Republican. Um, <laughs> Biden endorsing the Iraq war. Biden with his tough on crime Biden legislation. Biden being Biden. He's been right wing forever. Calling himself a Democrat to slip 
uh, right wing policies in through a shielded audience who don't know that the Democrats are just a wing of the right wing of the U.S. and have been for a long time. That's the reason why people like Hillary Clinton have foundations that make huge amounts of money and why they're all about that vertical hierarchy and why they're all about the military-industrial complex and bombing whoever the fuck they want, destroying the Al-Shifa pharmaceutical factory, for instance, killing 30,000 Sudanese people, the war crimes in Kosovo. Like, the Democratic Party has been this way for a long time, and it's consistent. Obama bombing a uh, shit ton of countries, being called the Drone King, being the first, uh, like, admitted assassination, extrajudicial assassination of American citizens in the form of uh, Anwar al awlaki and his brother Abdul Rahman al awlaki and then Trump comes in and finishes off the little girl, the little sister, daughter person. So, you know, it's almost like they're all on the same team, maybe. Maybe. You know? Maybe. But just to get into the specifics here, because I know there are going to be a lot of people who are like, uh, I don't believe you. Well, you don't need to believe me because the facts speak for themselves. Okay? They really do. <laughs> um... So, I'm going to go over a few of the things that Biden did that prove he's on the same team as everybody else, okay? Uh, and I'm going to read my tweets in order to do them, because this is a, an informal vlog, and I might as well shortcut. Um, so, let's start with Afghanistan. I said, reminder, even if Biden gets troops out of Afghanistan, he'll put them somewhere else. He just funded the fuck out of the Pentagon and has been a saber-rattler saber ever since Iraq. The war machine does not stop unless we stop it, and it will not stop at the orders of a president. And I also said, private uh, contractors paid with public funds are misnomers and a good way to lie. Biden is a liar. Just like everyone before him, he's leaving paramilitary boots on the ground and 2,500 troops. Minimum. Fuck every anti-war Biden supporter. Yeah, even the ones you like. I went on to say Trump was going to have the troops out of Afghanistan in May. Mainstream media is framing Biden pulling out of Afghanistan in September as Biden choosing to pull out of Afghanistan. But this is a lie. In fact, Biden is extending their presence by months, maybe years. Don't trust the mainstream media. And then I went uh, and, and, and I uh, uh, quote tweeted this. This is all in a thread, by the way. Uh, quote tweeted this tweet, um, including a screenshot from an Abby Martin video. She is great. If you guys don't subscribe to the Empire Files, why the fuck not? Um, and I posted this thing which said that there, were, there are going to be 18,000 private contractors now in Afghanistan, um, according to the U.S. Central Command. My comment was, holy shit, remember when I said Trump wasn't getting out of Afghanistan? Remember when I said they'd hire private goons when they did pull out? 18,000 of the motherfuckers. Damn, it feels good to be right. Would be better if the illegal wars stopped. Huh? So how? How, how, how um, does this qualify as left? If Biden is doing the same stuff Trump was doing, only doing it later and worse and more of it, uh, why is he not just Trump too? Why is Trump not Obama too? Why is Obama not Bush too? Why is Bush not Clinton too? Why can't we call a, a, a fucking shovel a shovel? It, it's really fucking obnoxious. And this is just war policy, right? This is just war policy on Afghanistan, you know? There's so much more because he's shit. So I tweeted uh, a list. You get private troops in Afghanistan. You get more wall and more land seizure. That's right. He's, he's building the wall. He's continuing to seize land to build the wall. 
the wall that he was supposed to knock down, the wall that he was supposed to no longer build, he's building more of it. Because Trump being out does not mean that this huge public works project to build a thing that makes America look tougher while not actually being much tougher because it's really easy to climb the way they have it set up. All you got to do is like string your shirt in on the other side and fucking yerk your way to the top. Um, he's going to keep it going. And he's going to do it while stealing land from people. Because that's how governments operate. They steal everything they have. They don't have anything legitimate. They don't have legitimate property. They steal everything they have. And then they use their stolen goods to fucking control people. Plain and simple. That's it. And in this particular case, Ron Paul was fucking right that maybe uh, this wall isn't being used to keep people out, but to keep us in. To make it easier to patrol the inside of the border should the citizens ever decide they want to leave in exodus quantities like Mexico did. How easy would it be for the U.S. to get through right now? Pretty easy. How easy would it be when the U.S. has fucking the fence posts all installed um, and then fucking big ass turrets at the top of them or cops that have really good military equipment? Uh, patrolling the lines, or something like that. I mean, the wall's pretty easy to climb right now, or get around right now, but at some point, it's gonna get actually impressive. And that's what they're building up towards, stealing your money in order to do it, stealing their land in order to do it, stealing so much, and contributing a control mechanism for the people. Period. And you think Biden is gonna stop that? Tough on crime, Biden? Why? Why would Biden, who chose a vice president, who fucking laughs about how many innocent people she got locked up over her bullshit laws? Huh? Huh? Why would he be any different? Why would he be not a right-wing douchebag just like Trump? I don't see it. Same wage. No minimum wage increase. That's off the table now. And when pressured, pressured by the cunts in the squad, uh, he didn't do it. And their response to that not doing it and not, um, not getting any action done at all, not doing anything for anyone, um, was to keep telling people that, oh yeah, you know, you're showing that there's a desire here. That's all we need. We just need to make a good showing. Um, <laughs> while they lie, while they don't do anything for the people. Because they're fucking politicians. And just because you call yourself the squad doesn't mean you're any more fierce when it comes to reducing the size of government or serving your constituents. Because it's just a fucking brand. They're not actually real. <laughs> you think there's a squad. And I, I saw the other day, it's really fucking funny, um, that somebody put AOC again, uh, and I've seen this before, uh, ranking as a, a high-ranking libertarian. No. She wants a lot of things that are pretty explicitly anti-libertarian, and... Um, this is just in her press. This is just in what she tells people while she fucking... It's the camera, right? Um, because her whole deal is to keep people all distracted and infantilized and here's the jingly baby keys. That's her deal. And it has been for a while. She doesn't actually have to contribute jack fucking shit. And she doesn't. AOC is an ineffectual, low-class cunt fart, to put it mildly. And I can't think of a better way to describe her, because even stuff that I don't agree with, that she has promised to help do, she hasn't made any fucking progress on. So at the very least, she's lying to her constituency. Um, but so is Biden, so is Harris. <laughs> 
damn, it feels good to get all this out in a video. No Medicare for all. Same fucking deal. He promised. It was one of his campaign fucking planks. Uh, same with so many other fucking people in the Democratic fucking party. Medicare for all. Let's hijack this thing that Bernie made. All while we also hijack Bernie and make sure that he is so ineffectual that he has to kiss the ring in order to stay in politics after he fucking already gets the shaft at every convention. Let's co-opt this Medicare for all thing. That's a good idea. And then not do it. That's also a good idea because they don't want that. They don't want to use money to serve the interests of their constituents. They want to use money to hurt people. That's the reason Biden fucking bombed a foreign country. Used money for that before sending out stimulus checks. He said they'd be out the door. How <laughs> when? More police presence to rehash this. Black Lives Matter accurately tweeted that there are more police military vehicles in the streets now than there were under Trump. They say it's worse because it is. It's, it's real fucking funny how supporting crime bill president and more crime bills from crime bill Kamala, where she is helping lock up like parents for truant children. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to help the truancy issue. More distant parents because you s separated and broke up fucking families. And I'm sure that's going to be real good for minorities too. Not at all like that's going to be used to over-police poor communities which are disproportionately minorities. Not at all like you're a racist cunt, Kamala. Um, but, you know, to think that these people... We're going to be your saviors when it comes to police brutality. <laughs> At least Trump was never responsible for any fucking police brutality enabling crime legislation. Because he wasn't a politician before. Trump was a celebrity. He, well, I'm still is, basically. Politicians are just celebrities. They're just a different type of media whore. But um, he was a reality TV host, and they hired him to host the world's greatest reality TV show, which is The Presidency, where they pretend to have authority. And they do have a certain amount, but really it's still delegated to the powers that should not be. Fucking Bilderberg Group is still ticking along. The Illuminati is still operating in the background. But none of that fucking matters because we got new guy. And new guy is going to solve all of our problems. No, he's not. That's why you get the Coda Access Pipeline reinstated. Again, you know, I don't need to agree with the protests. But to then say, after cutting it off, that yeah, sure, we can have it back. That kind of shows that Biden is only in it for the positive press. And as soon as he gets all that positive press and people get up off his back about his son's laptop and shit and drug addiction and whatever, uh, as soon as people ease up off his back about that, he's going to go back on whatever fucking promises he wants to go back on because he's fucking Biden and he sucks. $600 less in the stimulus checks. That could have been spent on the people, but it was spent on bombs and also foreign aid and also corporate assistance. But he promised so many times, and so did so many other people in the Democratic Party, that you vote for Democrats, it'll be $2,000 checks out the door. Where are those? They're not here. Because fucking Biden sucks. And so does Harris. And so does the squad. More restrictions. Need I say more? There are more restrictions. More bombs. But inclusive oppression. You know, now the military-industrial complex 
is proudly talking about how they serve trans people. They're they're allowing trans people to also bomb people they never met to service capitalism in the industrial military industrial complex, huh? Now you got inclusion. Literal rainbow colored bombs. That's better now. It's better now. You see? So I finished that tweet off by saying current Biden supporters are lobotomized because, you know, they fucking are. <laughs> and then I, and on another day, I tweeted Jimmy Kimmel softballing Hunter Biden on the laptop was bad enough. But at the end, fluffing Joe Biden by saying he only ever says the right things. Yeah, you know, the thing. <laughs> this is what. A propagandistic big club publicity tour looks like. This family are saints in a corporate religion. And I didn't even go far enough. You know what this is really? This is further proof that the monarchy never really left the US. Because this is royal family shit. This is caring about Queen Die and or Princess Di and, and whatever hack is having Pr Prince Harry. It doesn't fucking matter. Snowing everything doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that the racist uh, royal family keeps on being racist. Britain doesn't care. Um, at least the government thereof. The people might be pissed. But uh, they can just keep on being however toxic and racist they want. Because ha 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 ha. You can't get rid of us. We're still the ones in power. The U.S. has the same system. It's the same system. It's just representative royalty. Which means that if they do get in, it's because the U.S. government put them there so that they make sure that the people who allegedly represent people still represent corporations and industrial complexes first. Still represent the private and conspiratorial interests in the Bilderberg Group, the Trilateral Commission, the fucking Illuminati, whatever... You want to throw a dart at on your big conspiracy o -matic, you know? Uh, fucking them, right? How, how, how is it not obvious that no president is going to serve your interests? Unless your interests are the same sort of bloody, brutal barbarity which has been happening for a very fucking long time. How does it need to be any clearer? How can it get any clearer? The Hunter Biden coverage is fucking cocksucking. That's all it is. Hey, Hunter Biden, come on our show so we can suck your cock for a bit. That way, the Biden tweeters don't get mad at us and we can still get ratings for the anti-Trump crowd by fluffing the new guy as though this family is saints and not crack-addicted hard drive enablers. Are we all just going to forget about what was on that thing? Are we all just going to forget about the crooked business deals? About the, uh, uh, basically, um, you know, the fucking <laughs> nepotism that runs rife through this country? Are we all going to forget about that? Yeah, because the Democrats and the liberals, not the left, but the liberals don't actually fucking care about the right wing. They just want their rightist in charge. As long as their guy is doing what they think they want and labeling it correctly and using the correct pronouns, then everything's okay, no matter who dies and is oppressed. Am I right, fellow youth? So, I also tweeted... While they vote on this stimulus while they were voting, remember Biden lied about the 2000, postponed it for months, bombed the Middle East first, shafted 16 million Americans out of the 1.4 thousand. This chair squeaks a lot. Dropped other considerations and might not even get this done. And they're doing all this with debt. Hashtag stimulize. Like, the economy is going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine with all this runaway inflation. Just print the money. We'll make something up later. <laughs> it's 
it's fucking hilarious. It really is. You know, and it, and it gets worse, too. It gets worse every day, you know? That's why I tweeted that Biden wrote a major conservative tough-on-crime bill, supported the Iraq war, never met a corporation he didn't like, all about intelligence community, heavily racist, and po policies help the rich and hurt the proles. Yeah, he's definitionally off right a neoliberal right-winger. But it's fine. You know? It's all fine. We're fine. It's fine. And if you disagree, you're probably a racist or something. <laughs> I also said, by the way, for those keeping score, Trump sent two payments. Biden called 600 a down payment after lying about $2,000 checks. He had nothing to do with the 600 Means Trump gave you more than Biden. If Biden bucks are good, Trump bucks were better. Fortunately, stimulus is bad, so... Yeah, because stimulus is bad. It fucks with the economy. It damages people's lives. It destroys their savings. And it's slowly plunging us toward the Fed coin because they're going to have to default on the current economic system. And their incentive for the powers that be to keep invested is going to be the fact that everything will be under control and they can't fucking hide shit from them anymore. More taxes... More control, more revenue, uh, less ability for the common person to be private. Privacy? Who needs privacy? You know, and Biden's talking up gun control. So I said all weapons are assault weapons. The idea that any weapon is more assaulty than others is propaganda. Same goes for defense. If the people in a given environment were all armed, mass shootings would be unlikely at best. Biden talking bans is a transparent power grab. <laughs> you know? I've also told other people uh, that uh, Biden is a right winger. By posting a Karl Marx quote about guns, under no pretext should arms and ammunition be surrendered. Any attempt to disarm the workers must be frustrated by force if necessary. Huh? Yeah, that's the scary left. The scary left is the ones who won't lay down and give up their guns. The come and take it left. The redneck revolt left. The... Socialist Gun Club or the Rifle Association, the Huey Newton Gun Club. That left. The left that actually gives a fuck because they're actual left. You know? Not, not Biden. Biden's not a leftist. Biden loves gun control. Leftists don't. Unless they're off left. But Biden isn't off left because of all of his pro rightist policies. You know? And then I, I tweeted this thing about Bill Maher because he, he sucked Biden too. Like, he's willing to go against a variety of people. Fat people, uh, uh, fucking GSM, uh, fucking wokeness, cancel culture. But then he calls Biden uh, nothing short of sharp, focused, and completely on top of things. Name a time Trump fell upstairs. <laughs> really? It's fucking astounding. It's fucking astounding how fucking pathetic these people are. I said, can I ask you a question about X? No, you can't. Not unless you get in front of my car as I step on it. If this was Trump, people would be shouting, lock him up. But because Biden is being a violent shithead, all the li shit libs are mom on the tyranny. Fuck Biden supporters. I posted a thing from J-Man Prime 21. He's a, a football player for the LA Chargers. Um, Justin Jackson says, where's the Biden lie tracker? He lied about $2,000 checks. He lied about the minimum wage. He lied about not another foot. That was about the wall. He lied about Iran. He lies about everything. Donald Trump was not the beginning of presidents being unbelievably narcissistic liars. And he certainly won't be the end. <laughs> It's just, 
I said Biden is a progressive with no progress, a liar spewing racism and fash leaning conservative policies as long as he's been alive. He's to the right of many Republicans and has broken nearly every promise to Democrats. Either be anti Biden or you're not really anti Trump. How's that for clear? How's that for direct? Huh? And before people, you know, get on my ass about this, um, I also have to bring up my sort of response to, to, to the question. Why do you care if Biden lied about X government program? Do you like government spending? Hypocrite re. I pointed out because I'm hammering home that politicians don't act in constituents' interests. So I can encourage the growth of cynicism and po political hostility. That's it. I want people to hate the government, so I'm pointing out reasons why they should. Because it doesn't serve them. It serves the powers that should not be. Every single fucking time. And the fact that people don't believe this already is fucking embarrassing for them. And I, I sort of summed it up in this tweet on May 8th. I said, Mr. President, because it was trending, lied about $2,000 checks. He did lie about that. Not another foot of wall. He's still building the wall. Legal weed. He's not doing anything about that. Afghanistan. Still there. No more kids in cages. <laughs> Minimum wage. Police reform. More. And now you get racism, like more gun control. Illegal menthols. More. And... More war. Worse police. More laws. Meet the new boss. We're supposed to like this guy. Why? Convince me to like Biden. Can ya? Convince me to like Kamala. And then we're supposed to ignore, of course, the fact that those lines... <laughs> That little red line just sort of like shooping along. The blue line's shooping along a little lower, and then the blue line goes kapook. We're supposed to forget about that. You know? We're supposed to think that the powers that should not be don't want Biden in office while he's helping them in every step of the way. Huh? What? Oh, that's the sound of bullshit. I am tired of explaining this. That's the reason I made this video. I'm tired of explaining that Biden is a right winger. I'm tired of explaining that he only ever supports conservative policies. I'm tired of explaining all the racism that's there. I'm tired of explaining the fact that he's got bad allies and bad action plans and that the squad is shit. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it in the same way that, you know, even though I don't really like her, Tulsi Gabbard was 100% accurate and very based when she said that Hillary Clinton was the embodiment of rot and queen of warmongers. Because the Democrat establishment is that. You know? That's what it is. The Democrat establishment is nothing more than a cult of personalities and not just one personality cult but like a cargo cult of personality cults like you accept one you accept them all you step out of line on one you're off the reservation and they're not doing anything they're not helping people they're just demagogues personality cult huh we're supposed to support these people haha <laughs> convince me because I don't think AOC's that hot. I don't vibe with that crazy eye look, even though that's me. Um, I, I need more. I need, like, intelligence and ability to articulate sentences and thoughts and do things with your career. That'd be nice. I don't think Kamala's a boss mom. I don't think she's awesome. I don't think she's, you know, some sort of <laughs> leftist beacon of hope. Or, or a beacon of hope for inclusivity and fucking X group's rights just because she's the first black woman as a VP. 
just because someday when Biden fucking start, stops playing the internal game of cricket in his head and fucking bats out, uh, uh, she'll be president. Ooh, we get very inclusive tyranny. We get very inclusive um, uh, mob justice. We get very inclusive wars and bigotry and police forces and fucking cronies. We get all that. We get it all because she'll be very inclusive as the first female black vice president to turn president. If that happens anyway, if they don't just roll Joe Biden out like weekend at Bernie's on a fucking trolley cart like they they're fucking luring apple carts out with the the fucking thing off their truck. He falls down. They still need him to give a speech. So they just strap him to it. Put some of those fucking one inch straps on it ratchet him down real tight and put his arms on stick like elmo and then they shove their hand up his ass so that they can puppeteer his mouth from the inside and just sort of <laughs> while he gives a speech it probably looked more lifelike than what he does now i wish things were better it'd be fucking great if things were better if things weren't absolute hell all the fucking time Politicians aren't going to do that for you. Can I be louder about it? And just to top it all off, just to be that nice little cherry top this shit Sunday, I get shit from libertarians for saying shit like this. Because they want to believe that because Trump was so bad, the people that they uh, cucked their vote out to will be better. They don't want to admit their flaws. They don't want to admit the fact that they helped the racist. They don't care about any of that shit. They just want you to shut the fuck up and accept them. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I want you to say, I'm a human being, goddammit. My life has value. <laughs> Little network quote. It's exhausting. My throat hurts. And yeah, part of that is because of my brash attitude and the fact that I'm fucking shouting instead of just delivering news. But you know what? People aren't here to see somebody normal. They're see you're here to see a person in a medium-priced overshirt with an exposed chest rant and rave and yell about things because it helps them comport their own rage at the system. They're here to see a guy with a messy bed and a Joker poster in the background. Hey, Sonic poster coming soon. Thanks for the donation. Um, the ultimate truth here is the system will not serve you. Social Democrats, put down the bottle. I know you've had a lot of fun tonight, you know, I, I know you think that maybe if you just drink a little bit more, you can forget the fact that Biden is a tyrant and you're a shill. But, you know, just put it down just for a second. You know, just for a second. You know, the vouches of the world. Just stop talking about horse cock for a little bit and realize that there's one in your brain preventing you from realizing that, hey, this shit's fucked. And we shouldn't be accepting it. And Biden sucks. And I made a shit choice. And I shouldn't have supported a right fucking winger. Is my alternative to Trump. You know. It's fucking exhausting. I'm constantly angry. Because the same people. Who allegedly believe something. Are so easily swayed and led toward. Whatever blah 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 blah. Happens to come with a blue tie on. Can we stop this? No? Okay. I guess I'll keep yelling. <laughs> because that's what I do. <sighs> I push for a day when we're completely free and we don't have to worry about what these ideologues and demagogues think. If that's you, welcome to my fucking channel. Feel free to like and subscribe. If that's not you, then you're in my way. And I will act like it. 
smash the fucking state.